आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे पेडागोजी का ही पार्ट जो कि है हमारे पास टाइप्स ऑफ एजुकेशन इससे पहले हमने फिलोसफी और एजुकेशन की डेफिनेशन डिस्कस की थी सो टाइप्स ऑफ एजुकेशन देयर आर जनरली टू मेन टाइप्स ऑफ एजुकेशन नंबर वन इनफॉर्मल एजुकेशन एंड नंबर टू फॉर्मल एजुकेशन दे आर डिस्कस बिलो द नंबर वन इज इनफॉर्मल एजुकेशन इफ अ पर्सन इज नॉट अवेयर mean unintentional way of learning of what he is going to learn and if the learning does not take place in a formal institution such learning is generally called informal education this type of education is received in the social and physical environment next physical surroundings of the person though it is very important and natural it is incidental and not deliberately planned so unplanned uh, unintentional education is called informal education second one is formal education this type of education is consciously planned it is imparted through the process of formal institution schools are the spe- specialized institutions for imparting formal or in other word academic education to the learner this process of academic learning involves two parties in essence of the teacher and the taught so the chief characteristic of formal education are twofold firstly it is planned and organized deliberately secondly the learner is aware of his learning for example a child knows that he learned a table in arithmetic which he did not know up before the teacher helped him to learn this next however formal and informal education are not uh, contradictory but rather they are supplementary to each other they take place concurrently at every stage of life so relation between philosophy and education there is a close relationship between education and philosophy they are interdependent the one provide a base for the other philosophy formulate the aims and objective of education which in turn influence the practice the subject of study and the method of teaching a country first of all should evolve a philosophy of its education and later on plan a scheme of education according to it this shows that philosophy is very much necessary for education james rose defined the relation between philosophy and education by saying philosophy and education are like two sides of a coin the former is the contemplative uh, side while the latter is the active side similarly sir john adam says education is the dynamic side of philosophy it is the active aspect of philosophical beliefs the practical means of realizing the ideas of life the truth of this statement can be observed in the lives of a great philosophers and their teachings they tried to put into practice the theories of education presented and pronounced by them they usually implemented their philosophies into concrete forms and convince other people to hold the same ideas and beliefs they held if take the example of rousseau it is clear that the education of female his imaginary people was in fact his philosophy in action to sum up philosophy and education are interdependent philosophy depends upon education for the formulation of aims and objectives and education depends on upon philosophy for its guidance the existing of one is necessary for the others 
Thank you enough for today. We will continue from Scope of Philosophy of Education. Well done again.